rupture of the Achilles tendon is something that happens more often around the age of 30s and 40s in what's called the weakened warrior. So people that are not used to uh, doing a lot of physical activity or they increase the intensity of that activity during a weekend or a special period of time and that will make the Achilles tendon that is the one we're seeing here in this diagram rupture from the, its attachment to the calcaneus. So the calcaneus you can see it as a, the posterior aspect uh, of the foot and you have the Achilles tendon that's formed from the gastrocnemius and the soleus which is the one you see here and it forms this tendon. So tendon by definition is going to be attaching the muscle to the bone. So let's look at an example of an Achilles tendon rupture. Here you're seeing the normal one to the right and the abnormal one to the left where it loses all type of definition here, you can clearly see that a lot of the definition here is, is created by the Achilles tendon as it attaches to the calcaneus. Moving on, this the important diagnosis. Although you can have, you can be able, you can be able to assess this on physical exam and assess either how much if it's completely torn, it will be more evident on physical exam if it's partially torn. Uh, really this type of test, uh, the MRI on the right and the radiograph on the left will start giving you an idea. And so for example here, what you're seeing is you're seeing some soft tissue swelling. That's why you see this area is a little bit gray. You can kind of make the Achilles tendon. You can see it as it goes up. Here we don't see it that well. We see this area of inflammation here and then we go a little bit higher and then we see that uh, radiolucency, which is a correct term for this, so that dark area is the remaining component of the Achilles. Here we're looking at the bones and you know nothing nothing obvious like a fracture or something uh, that we can see, so immediately we're thinking this is going to be an isolated Achilles tendon rupture. When we move to the MRI, this is going to be a T1 sequence and for those of you that are not familiar with MRI, T1 and T2 are two main sequences and one of them is going to be sensitive to fluid and it's going to have a different appearance and color. But what we're seeing here is we have the muscle, we have some fat in this area, and we have the tendon. So that's the tendon here coming from below. We can follow it. We see the nice fibers in this area. And then there's disruption. Okay, so it's disrupted here, and that's what this red bar is pointing. So that's all the part that's actually disrupted from the tendon. And we can kind of more or less imagine that the other part is here, although it's not, not that well visualized. So this is an example of a complete rupture or a complete tear of the Achilles tendon. Moving on, here is a surgical uh, part of this procedure. So there's, they're trying to fixate the Achilles tendon to repair it. So that's the heel there and the calcaneus. So that's the attachment lower down. And this is a superior part. And you can see it correlates well with what we saw in the imaging studies. And that's it guys, thank you very much.